first piece was called Flow. Uh, it was written by Brandon Dix in uh, 2022, and uh, it was performed by Valley Grass featuring uh, myself and two of my colleagues here, Sean Hawley, and the composer himself, Brandon Dix. Uh, this next piece um, is also uh, by this fabulous young composer, and I'm going to throw it to him to introduce and talk about the piece a little bit. Sure. So, before I talk, I want to thank uh, Alex for actually uh, programming both of these works for this recital. Nowadays, it's actually harder and harder to get new music performed and venues because of uh, COVID and backlog of new commissions. So having these on the program, it's, it, it means the world. So um, thank you again, Alex, for that. Um, so Flow is actually based on mostly rhythm. It was actually written for a class um, here at ASU called uh, Rhythm, Microtiming, and Jazz and Swing. So um, it's taking rhythms and seeing how a brass quintet can translate um, some of the techniques that we learned in that class to uh, that ensemble. This composition, Resolutions, is a little bit different. The brass trio doesn't have a lot of pieces in its repertoire. It it's, does go back all the way to about 1950 for when the first uh, uh, trios were written, the most famous action being uh, Full Link, which is also on this program. Um, but it's a very difficult ensemble to not only like, play it because there's only three of us on stage, it's also difficult to write for because we don't have that much of a range um, with the lowest notes really being in the trombone and they can only play them every once in a while and me with the trumpet. Um, this piece takes arguments and tries to resolve them over time with each movement. And there's a central theme arguing, uh, sorry, agreeing to disagree as one of balancing something out and end, ending up with kind of like dud results. Uh, repeated assumptions of themes kind of coming back of how you think of somebody, but in reality, um, you can't really go anywhere until you take away those assumptions. A collective prayer, a final point of trying to connect on a central goal, and then um, growing empathy of actually understanding somebody, but then ending up in a final spot. This was first written in 2019, um, kind of inspired by another quintet I was in. <laughs> it's pretty common for us to actually get into some arguments. So um, Alex, when he asked me to write it, I actually uh, recreated a lot of the work. So it's pretty much a world premiere that you're going to hear today. So hope you enjoy the resolutions. Thank 
Thank you all for staying. Uh, I'd just like to take a moment to go through and introduce my wonderful colleagues here in the Valley Brass uh, on trumpet, Ann Chesley. Yay! <laughs> called Ringing Brass Bells. Each movement of this piece uh, depicts uh, a different kind of metal and uh, is composed by Robert Patterson. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
people. I'd like to thank uh, first my wife Kendra for all of her support and for listening to me practice and rehearse at all hours of the day and night. Um, I'd like to thank my professor Dr. Erickson for all of his support uh, throughout the years of my undergraduate degree and also my doctoral degree. And I'd like to thank my parents for all of their support as well. And most of all, I'd like to uh, thank all my collaborators from the Valley Brass and Squint Winds. Uh, and I'd just like to introduce them to you. Uh, Rachel Reyes on the flute. <laughs> Kurt Sellers on oboe. <laughs> Alfredo Bonilla on bassoon. <laughs> and Riley Brassi on clarinet. And for this piece, we are being joined by Michelle Kim on piano. Uh, our final piece on the program is the Sextet by Francis Poulenc. Um, it's just a really, really exciting piece, and we've had just a blast working on it this semester and having Michelle join us um, in working on it. Um, it was composed between 1932 and 1939 and under, underwent a significant um, uh, rewriting during that time, um, but it really shows uh, Poulenc's uh, love for wind instruments, and you can just see how <clears throat> he couldn't uh, leave himself out of the fun, and he added the piano part for himself to play. Um, so without further ado, uh, Poulenc's sextet.